AkronHipHop.com, the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com. Hey man, I like the fact, first off, I know you. Mm-hmm. Tell the two people who may not know you here in Akron, what's going on, brother? I'm Wayne Pounds, man, AKA the scribe. Hey, what's that you got in your hand? You gotta lift that up so people can't see it. What's that? Hey, bro, that? that's the black ball, man. You in Blackwood, Ohio with the black ball. Yeah, <laughs> bro, that's the black ball, man. That's what Hollywood did to me, bro. Hey, man, hey, man, tell somebody, man. For 35 years, man, that's what they did, man. They blackballed me, man. You get, that's a good metaphor to make it better for mm-hmm. me. Hey, man, um, tell somebody, um, you do unicycle basketball. Yeah. What's it called? It's called Univar. Now, you first off, you're author of the um, prophecies of LeBron James. What's the name of the book again? Number 23 and Me, the LeBron James Prophecy. You see the book on the left hand side, right quick, or is it your right your left? Whatever. Um, tell somebody, man, uh, about your career as a unicycle ball player. Oh, man, I've been playing uni ball, man, for about uh, 40 years, man. I, I, you know, I played with some of the greats, some of the legends. Uh, shout out to the legend uh, Vargas, man, Willie Vargas out there and Kip and them out there in New York City. That's where the legends is from, a group called King Charles. Uh, and they, uh, a man named by the name of uh, uh, Mr. King, he started a, a unicycle team, man, back in the 50s. And those guys toured the nation with Barnum & Belly Circus for 40 years, man. And 40. 40 years, and, and Barnum and & Belly never put them up as the uh, headline. You know, they always uh, was the second to the, you know, the lion tamers and the lion lovers, you know, all that. But right. the brothers could show enough jam, man. Fast court between the legs, behind the back, all behind the head, you know, 360 jump off the unicycle, bam! Are you, they were slamming off of the YouTube? Yeah, man, you can see it on YouTube up too, man. A lot of their videos still on there, the legends. Crazy, legends, man. And they inspired me, man. They inspired me to write the Uniball story 35 years ago, man. And I, and I end up being dead on with the life of LeBron Ramon James. You better say it, man. So let's talk about it real quick, man. Let's talk about the, um, the book itself and everything and how it chronicles LeBron James' life that you wrote this thing before he was even born. I think he might have been the same year, in 84, right? Yeah. Talk st- about that. I started writing the book in 1984, and then three years later, I copy wrote the book. And it happened to be when I copy wrote it, I was uh, 23 years old. And uh, the story starts out in uh, 1984. Uh, now that was the original script I was talking about, but the new book, uh, it starts out in 1984 and it goes year by year and it chronicalizes uh, Michael Jordan's career, uh, LeBron's life, uh, the life of the script, uh, pop culture, and politics. Come on now, come on yeah, now. Speaking yeah. about politics, I know we usually talk about the book and everything too. Speaking about politics, man, and the state of black America right now, man, how do you feel personally? How does what's going on right now with us and people speaking up for us, how does it make you feel? Man, seeing everything that, that's going on now, man, it makes me feel, um, it makes me feel um, really uh, touched that God gave me something like this because not only does this story um, foretell about the greatness of LeBron James, but the actual storyline uh, to the original script was um, police murder, um, uh, false imprisonment. What do you mean police murder? Police murder. You know, that's when, when police, when they kill you and you don't have a gun or anything. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, let's, sure. let's call it what it is. Right. It's a murder, police murder, okay? So police murder, um, false imprisonment, that's when you lock up a bunch of people for uh, charges like marijuana mm-hmm. and they're still locked up but in other states, marijuana is legal. You know what I mean? Just um, a little simple, lock you up for stupid stuff. Yeah, charge, anything charge, we can get. Stuff, right. Jaywalking, you know, trespassing, cutting through somebody's yard. Any of these offenses can be a death penalty for a black man today. But they were in the original script. We had, we had the, um, we had the, uh, um, the police murder. We had the uh, false incarceration. We had protests and riots. Everything that's going on today was in the original script. Hey man, you're a prophet. You're a prophet, man. Hey man, listen real quick, man, before we get out of here, tell somebody how to get the book, man. 
you can go to www.number23andme.com and you can you can order right online through Amazon or any of our other distributing partners that are listed there. Tell somebody how to get in contact with you if they're trying to get you. Shoot the mathematics, baby. Hey, man, you can get find me on uh, Facebook, Wayne Pounds. You can find me on Twitter, uh, Wayne Pounds One. You can find me uh, on Instagram, Scribe Two One Two. You can um, also find me on Twitter on that also. My man, have some fun and get something done, man. I like that you stop through every time you're in town, baby. Yes, sir. Peace.